Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of K-Tapes. Today we are going to look at how to clean your moldy tapes. I know it's been a question that people kept asking me and since I've cleaned over like oh, nearly like a thousand tapes so far since I'm in Korea uh, and God knows that many of them were really really moldy and really dirty. Um, today I'm going to show you how to clean those tapes. Of course if you live in the States, I believe like, I don't know, people there, when I see posting, see them posting tapes, usually they're not that moldy. Uh, they do have like a few spots, like white spots, like let's say on this tape right here. Oh, it's an example. A uh, few spots like this, it's no big deal. This can be easily cleaned, trust me. Uh, and well, when you go to Korea or sometimes maybe Southeast Asia because of humidity, some countries may have more mold like this. So this is really, really nasty. So for this example today to tell you, to show you how to clean tapes, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use the worst of like everything. So you will have a good example and you will see how easy it is to clean even the nastiest tapes you have around. So first of all, very important thing is to notice if there's any mold that is on your reading surface of your tape. So because if you look at them right now, of course you're going to say, okay, this one is the least damaged by mold and it goes up and this is the worst one, obviously. But maybe this tape looks not that bad, but on the reading surface of the tape itself, maybe it's, it's really terrible and you may have to throw it away because of that. Although there's a way you, you, you can do, you can clean that, but it may be very difficult or at least very like time consuming, can take over like nearly three hours to go manually and clean the entire tape. But I will show you what you need to do first before we get to the hardcore cleaning with that tape here. So first of all, let's say you take one tape like this one. So not that much mold. It's fine. Now you, maybe some of you know how to open a tape. By that, I don't mean to open with like unscrew everything and open it, but just open the lid here and see how damaged or how nice the tape is. What you need to do, you need something like a screwdriver or like a pointy object, like not a pencil, it won't work. It's not like small enough, but something like a small screwdriver like this one or this one, that would be fine. So first, you know that you have like a little button right here. So if you press this, this opens up the lid. So as you can see right here, I'm looking at the tape. It looks fine from the surface. It looks okay, but okay. Here you may need like another screwdriver or something similar to the same size of this one, like a big pen or maybe a marker to stick right here. So it doesn't snap on your tape. So just to keep the lid open. Now with your other screwdriver, what you want to do is press on the little, there's a little button right here in your, inside your tape right there. So what you want to do is press here and then you hold your tape and what you do and you just pull the tape out and see if there's any mold nearby. So I'm pulling the tape here and I just spotted a like bad area right here. So right here I can, I don't know if you can see well, but there is, there is mold on the surface here. I know what you're saying, maybe like, oh my God, you're touching the reading surface. This is going to get like dirty inside my VCR and all this stuff. Well, we're going to, clean the tape and everything. So it doesn't really matter at this point because we're going to use rubbing alcohol and everything. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's not bad at all. It doesn't matter right now. And if I pull it this way, this way is fine. So this tape looked pretty good. Just needs a bit of cleaning at the beginning, like where it was set. Oh, by the way, when you rewind the tape manually like this, you can let go of this part. Although put the tape like this upside down. So that 
just hangs like this because otherwise it's all like uh, mixed up and, and, and it can get stuck inside when you rewind it. So just put it upside down and then gently rewind it like this. And then you can flip it over. There you go. And there you go. Let go of the lid. Done. So let's see the next step. <clears throat> by by the way i didn't check any of those to see if there's any mold but we're just going like going through just you know just so you get like a quick view of how to do it so again i put my screwdriver in there i press here looks fine although maybe a bit damaged but it's okay if i pull the tape looks okay looks okay all right this one is fine i'll let it go but it does have a bit of mold inside so Anyway, those two tapes are done. Let's go with this one. Here you go. Oh, okay. Here's there's a bit of mold. And see, there's a mold inside as well. And that's on the reading surface of the tape. Although, if I pull it more, yeah, maybe you cannot really see it here, but if you see it like a little bit like foggy on the, like it's not really shiny, the tape itself, that means there's like some kind of, of uh, like a small layer of mold. It's not really visible. Like it, it, it's not like when you see it from the outside like this, but it's, it's definitely on the surface of the reading, the reading surface of the tape. So you actually want to clean that up before going with the big cleanup. Okay, and let's go with the last one. <clears throat> this one, the nastiest one, full of mold. If I open it up, go with my screwdriver, pull this thing. Oh, and yeah, yeah, this is, this is exactly what I was looking for. See, it's kind of hazy. It's, you know, it's not really clean. So this is, this is kind of more, anyway, if you put this in your VCR, you'll have to clean your VCR. So it's, it's a big no-no. So what I do, usually I pull this tape, like, like a fair amount of it. Actually, I can go up to three, four meters. That's, I don't know, um, in feet, I don't know, eight feet. And even it's, it's on the floor sometimes. But anyway, I do clean it. I put it back in. <clears throat> it's fine. Just make sure you do that kind of stuff, like not in a dirty garage. You can do that in your, maybe in your room, whatever. So the next thing you want to do, and this is the first, actually, this is the first part of the cleanup. You want to take a rag or just a piece of cloth that is obviously clean. You want some ethanol or rubbing alcohol. Uh, what percentage? I mean, not too high, otherwise it will evaporate immediately. Uh, I don't know how much percentage that is, I guess, I don't know, maybe 90%, but I know they sell some that is like 99% and that just evaporates ev immediately. So don't buy that, just buy the regular one. It should be like less than two bucks, maybe two bucks. And you will need, of course, your screwdriver because you, you need to open it up just like I did like this. So you need your screwdriver to keep it open. Now, Take a nice part of your, of your cloth, doesn't matter. So let's say right here, put a bit of ethanol, rubbing alcohol. And now you will apply this straight on the reading surface of the tape because that's the part that's really nasty that you want to clean up right now. And I know the technique I'm going to show you today is with of course, a VCR for the rewind and fast forward. But if you do that and you do not do what I'm doing now, especially with the very, very dirty tapes, like the one I'm using today, then it won't get rid of that stuff. So you just go like this and you wipe it off. Okay. Don't put too much pressure. It's okay. Cause you don't want to snap the tape or break it. So just, just be kind of gentle. And there we go, just like this. Okay. So maybe 
you're going to ask me how many times do I need to do this? Well, do it until you don't feel any like kind of, uh, you, you'll feel it when you, you, you go with the, the cloth. It, it's kind of a resistance when you go, so it means it's sturdy. So do it until it's, it's perfectly smooth, like now. And look at it. If you see any spots on the tape, that means, yeah, you need to actually pass it a bit over there. So there you go. Okay. That should be fine. So let's see here. Can you see? So this was like mold and dust and anyway, stuff you really don't want inside your VCR. So if I look at the tape right now, of course, again, put it upside down, rewind it. By the way, don't do that like immediately. Make sure you, you know, give it like a few seconds so it, it dries. Okay, if I just wind it back. Now you see, tape is all shiny. It's all nice. Okay. So there's no more mold or dust, <clears throat> at least on that part of the tape. Well, I'm cleaning this because usually the beginning of the tape usually, ha I mean, again, the tapes that I find in Korea, <laughs> those nasty ones do have mold usually at the beginning. So that's what you want to get rid of. Usually further in the movie, it's fine. Uh, of course, there are movies that you would need to do what I just did for the entire film. If you, if you find a tape that is that dirty, I would say, uh, give it up. Okay. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Just throw the tape away. Uh, unless it's like something extremely valuable that you find the time to do it because it's really time consuming. If you do what I just did manually for the entire tape, Trust me, it will take you like minimum two hours, minimum. It's extremely time consuming and it's, it's boring as hell. So this is the first step. So this is how you clean just the, the, the start of your film. So you pull, you pull like I did until you find it fine and the surface is, is clean. Okay, now for the second step we will go with a VCR. So of course, don't go with like your super expensive, amazing VCR that costs you like a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, whatever, or some collectible, obviously. Just go with a cheapo VCR you find in a thrift store, uh, like something like five, 20 bucks max, doesn't matter. As long as, it, as you can rewind and fast forward, that's all you need. It doesn't work with the sound, whatever, there's a problem doesn't matter. Buy a VCR that rewinds and fast forwards and eject, obviously. That's all you need. So what I'm going to do, I'm going with this VCR, which I have for, I've been using this one for cleaning tapes for now, I don't know, seven years, something like that. Um, obviously, there's another step which I won't show you in this video, which is, of course, once you clean a couple of tapes, you want to clean your VCR because you don't want to not infect, but uh, if there's like any mold spores or whatever, you don't want to put them like they don't want you don't want them to go on, on your other tapes. So you need to clean uh, the, the head and the inside of your VCR once in a while. So what I do, I just go in the bathroom. I just flip it over, bang on the back and let all the crap come out of the VCR, you can take like a little, I don't know, a little vacuum and uh, clean it up. And of course you need to clean the head inside. So that's very important. But there are like a bunch of videos on YouTube telling you how to clean a VCR. So I guess you can just look it up and that will be like complementary to my video here because we just, I just want to focus on how to clean a moldy tape here. So first of all, you have your VCR. So what you need to do, of course, unplug it uh, first. And then this one has maybe one, two, three, four, maybe five, five or six screws. I removed them already. So what you want to do is you want to remove the top of your VCR like this. It's very easy. There you go. So you can see inside because you have to 
kind of play around this area when you clean your tapes. So you need, first of all, you need two, three things to clean tapes and that's it. Well, of course you need a VCR. That's maybe the most important part. And of course, maybe the, not the most difficult thing to find, but I mean, you need to find a VCR. So here you go. You need again, some ethanol or rubbing alcohol. Then you need again, a cloth, piece of rag, whatever needs to be clean, of course. And finally, the, the last thing you need is those, um, I'm sorry, I, I don't have the, the exact name for that. Uh, is it called uh, like wipes or, oh, geez, I forgot, that's bad. I'm sorry, <laughs> cotton wipes. Okay, let, let's go with cotton wipes. Anyway, it's, it's for like removing makeup for the ladies, uh, maybe for some guys too, whatever. So it's for removing makeup. Um, so you need, you, you can buy like a big pouch or a big pack of those, they're really cheap. Uh, find the ones that are like rectangle or square like this, because what you'll need to do is to fold them like this in one and two to make a little square like this. Okay, so those are the one, two, three, four things you need to have to clean a, VC, to clean a moldy tape. And of course, of course, I'm adding stuff here, but the two screwdrivers, like one to be able to hold your lid, like I showed you just previously, and another one with a, um, geez, I'm terrible with words today, but uh, the X head, I don't have the, the exact name for this, but anyway, the one that you unscrew your, your, your tape with it. So that's all you need, one, two, three, four, I'm sorry, five and six items, that's it. So let's proceed. So I'll go again with the tape we have, we had before, this very, very terrible tape here with like all this mold here. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this crap. So let's just do it. Okay, so first of all, <clears throat> you need to insert the tape, logic, right? And then you go with your little cotton wipes that you folded in two. You need to put that piece right here, okay? But if you put it there, now it's not really like touching the tape itself, so it's not really doing a good job, should I say? So what you want to do, you want to stick it between this little little head there and and the um, and the tape. So with my VCR, it's a little bit tricky. I just have to press stop. And then I have to press fast forward. There you go. Okay. So because when I press fast forward, the thing is it unlocks some kind of mechanism here and it's easier to just force it here. See? So now it's stuck between this little reading, whatever head, I, maybe it's a sound head or the, um, for recording, anyhow, and the tape. Now, you need to put some alcohol on your cloth. I'm, I'm a little bit late here, but I should have done that a bit before. Anyway, so you have to let it rest. Okay, so now it's resting on like the top of your tape that it's going through. Don't make it touch, okay, the reading surface. Otherwise, it's gonna jam inside like the, um, the head of your VCR and it's, it's gonna be a mess. Um, and even sometimes it just snaps the tape because there's too much pressure or whatever. So you just let it rest here. And the other technique, you can put it right here. So it doesn't matter. It's just here, it's kind of holding better. And what the cotton wipes wipe does right here is that it dries uh, the, the top of your head and it re remove all the, um, the little spores that can go back inside your tape. So that's what you want. So I'm gonna let this go through, like fast forward the, old, the whole tape and I'm gonna continue the explanation after we're done. Okay, maybe 10 seconds, not even. All right, here we go. So now you wanna press eject 
and take your cut and wipe and remove your cloth. Okay, so there you go. So now we have the tape. So see, I was able to clean this entire part. Sorry, right here. So now it's clean. It doesn't look clean because the inside spool is kind of hazy. It's, it's kind of like a frosty finish. So it, it, it looks like we can't really see through, but I mean, you, you can tell that it's definitely like much cleaner than it was before. But that's not it, by the way. So this was the second step of our cleaning video. So now let's move on to the third step. This time you need one, two, and three things. That's it. You need your piece of cloth, you need your rubbing alcohol, and again, you need your screwdriver. First thing first, we need to open this tape here. Some of you, maybe it's a bit scary, you've never opened a video, a video cassette before, and it, you might be like, oh my God, I don't want to break anything. Don't worry, this, this, if you follow the steps, there's no trouble and everything's going to be fine. So first of all, you have one, two, three, four, and five screws. You want to remove those. By the way, some very old tapes may have a sixth one, like around here. But like your average typical tape just have like six, uh, five screws. And sometimes the one in this corner, actually I'm speaking for some of the Korean releases, have a different type of screw, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but otherwise you, it, it's very easy. You have like your typical screws like this. So let's just open this up. So you have to unscrew everything. Okay. Sorry, it's a little bit difficult to do that with the camera and the way I'm sitting in front of the camera right now. But we're going to get it done. Okay. So one, two, three, four. And the fifth one. Here we go. Okay. So by the way, one thing, never open your tape from this side. Okay. Like if you open it like this, don't do that because everything will fall apart inside because the way it's... I mean, all the, all the pieces are placed. They're all placed, but on the other side. So if you open it up this side, everything will fall off. So you don't want that. Actually, you just want the screws to fall off. So you just flip it over. There you go. I have one, two, three, four, five screws. Perfect. Put those aside. And now you have your tape. So to open it up, make sure you don't have any stickers. You know, sometimes you have like the video store sticker. So this could be in the way and you're like, oh my God, how come it doesn't open? But it's because you have like a video store sticker here that prevents it to be uh, from opening up. And sometimes you have one right here inside, but this one doesn't, so it's okay. It should be easy to open. So you, you just open it up like, uh, like this. Here you go. So that's how you open the tape. Not more difficult than that. So once you have that, done you need to first of all remove the spools so those two spools you remove them see this like like dust well that's actually mold it's white it's the white mold oh and by the way if you're thinking like oh my god this guy is not using any gloves he doesn't have a mask uh, he doesn't have like an hazmat suit or whatever uh, look it's white mold it's it's not harmful i mean better safe than sorry you'll say and you're right uh, but I do not use any gloves or anything. It's, it's fine. I mean, wash your hands afterward and it's okay, right? Or worst thing, take a shower. But it's, it's okay. The white mold is not dangerous. It's the black mold that is dangerous. That's why it's actually called toxic mold. So the black mold is, is, is really bad, but this is fine. I'll just blow it away. I shouldn't do that, but I have to vacuum the house after, I guess. So put this aside. Take your rag. Once again, put some alcohol, rubbing alcohol on it, a little bit. And you want to remove three pieces, okay? So this one, those are the little guides for your, your tape. The other guide here, there's a plastic one. You can, you can clean it up if you want. I, 
I usually don't. It's fine. It's plastic. It, nothing sticks to it. This one. Uh, and then there's this one. You have to pull it off, okay? You have to wiggle it a bit, so otherwise it, it, it won't come off. But don't worry, you won't break anything. This always comes off. And if you see, there's like mold on it. It's nasty. So you want to clean that up. There you go. Of course, with rubbing alcohol. So there you go. This is clean. And now you want to go with the two little guides, those two pieces here. So this one is done. And this one is done. Well, that's okay. And now for the inside of the tape, okay? What I'm going to do here, uh, actually don't do that. I'm just doing this for the, the purpose of this video. I'm just going to blow off the, the mold inside because if you just wipe it off, it won't come off. Just just blow that, that shit away. And after, wipe the inside, okay? Sometimes you won't have any like spores, mold, moldy, I mean spores like this. So you don't need to blow anything. You just wipe it off and it's fine. But this was like a really nasty tape. So you need to get rid of this, okay? Because you cannot clean in between here. It's very difficult. So just go to the bathroom. Uh, blow this like outside the house or in the sink and then put some water and it's gonna be okay but I'm gonna do this in the house cuz I'm terrible but I'm gonna pass the vacuum after so that's fine okay there you go see there's no more mold spores but you do need okay and I cannot say enough you do need to clean this why because sometimes there's like i mean this one doesn't seem to like even if i check with light doesn't seem to have like any mold spots but sometimes you do have mold spots so that's why you do clean this with rubbing alcohol not just water i mean you could with water but i mean come on you have the rubbing alcohol use it so you clean the inside also the glass here i mean not the glass but the plastic transparent plastic you need to clean this. Sometimes you don't really see it, but there might be some mold there. The metal part, there could be some mold in there too. So just clean it up. Just clean everything. I'm going a bit fast here. I, you, generally, I would do it a little bit better. But again, for the purpose of this video, this is just to show you like a guideline how to do it. And don't forget this little... I don't know what do you call that the lid or the thing that will hold the uh, the tape when it's going back inside the uh, the cassette so this lid has some dust or mold so just don't be shy clean this too clean the back maybe I mean you can clean between here but it's very difficult you can use like a cotton bud like a q-tips whatever but I guess it's fine because the inside wasn't too bad <clears throat> so there you go so you put back the pieces inside this one this one by the way it doesn't matter they're both the same so if you're like oh my god was it left right it doesn't matter they're identical and then put this one back et voila now spool okay so this is the end of the tape obviously obviously in this case this part this part here has mold as you can see i hope it's obvious on the on the camera right now but it does have mold on the tape so you want to clean that up too uh, i'm just going to take a bit more alcohol here there you go so you go just like i showed you in step one you want to rub this and take it away like this all right there you go now that's a very important part this thing this is where i think in this the case of this tape where most of the mold is it's right inside it's inside the spool it's like touching on the top on the transparent part of the spool this is where the mold is so that part is very terrible you really want to clean it so you go like this don't be shy just go ahead and rub this 
just remove all the mold clean it up you don't need to be that gentle maybe just hold the part here because if you you put too much pressure it may crack the top of this spool it happened to me maybe once or twice it's actually very rare now i know how to do it and depends like if your fingers are really big but mine's are mine are not too big but just go like this and then clean your spool so okay there we go and the top of the spool of course again check with light just go with the light like this and check if there's any residue left inside or not but in this case this one is fine you can clean the back as well okay so now we want to put this back inside so make sure you don't have like too much out okay so like this and then okay so like this all right so put a bit of tension here not too much just put it back gently here you can pull this down and then the spool will rest don't force anything don't push anything and over here with your finger like this then you can insert it back inside sorry this looks like a bit annoying okay there you go so it's inside and with the little holes you have over here well you can just wind it back make sure it's tight not too tight but you know just comfortable like this and you will close the lid like this the cassette by the way there's a tricky part here all right because i'm sure most of you watching this video of course you're collectors because you want to take care of your tapes just like i do um there's one thing of course you see this i'm just gonna not pull it too much because i don't want anything to fall off but you know the sticker on the side on the spine whatever of course if you're a collector you don't want to rip this off okay and you don't want to cut it you don't want to damage it so in my case because i did that so many times i kind of know which korean tapes you know you can kind of keep the sticker some i, I kind of have to remove it if it's a newer tape it's easier if it's an old tape it's kind of like forget it you need to use like a cutter and just cut it there like very like a very nice cut that it doesn't damage the tape i mean it doesn't damage the sticker uh but in in this case of like this tape i'm just gonna try to put it back because you have like two pins here and two holes and you have the same right there so what i usually do i put some pressure like up over here to try to get it in like this and then a bit back so that the um the corner ones get in so like this and see there was no pressure applied or anything and you keep your sticker safe here so if you're a collector for me that's really important and when i do sell tapes i pay a lot of attention to this i don't want to sell like i mean i i usually tell people if, or if they ask me is the tape damaged i mean is the sticker damaged no it's fine but i do open all the tapes because i mean sticker is not the this sticker is not the most important thing for collectors usually i mean the tape is it playable is it mold free is way more important so now what you want to do we want to put it back in the vcr and do a rewind so we want to clean it even more okay but first because we may have to open it again you just need to put one screw back you don't want to put all five because again you have to unscrew everything it's just waste of time so just put the one in the middle and then just screw this one so for this step um, it's pretty much like the previous not the previous step where we opened the tape but the step before where we fast forward the tape so this time we just rewind the tape however remember how we have our little cut and wipe that is again folded in like this folded in one and then two 
Except this time you don't put it here, okay? You will have to put it on the other side. Why is that, you'll ask? Well, because we are rewinding the tape. We're not fast forwarding the tape. So that's why. And the same will go with your cloth. You want to put it but this time, actually, the cloth, you can put it here, right next to the cut and wipe. Why? Because, uh, because it's better there. And it, it, it can, in my case, it positions itself better inside the VCR. It's not in the way of other mechanical parts. And also, this time, the uh, cloth can actually touch the surface the reading surface of your tape which is a big difference and then you can clean it even more so this is kind of a not a new technique i would say but it's something i i kind of do nowadays i didn't do that before and i noticed that it cleans it way be way better and i do not need to you know go fast forward rewind like 10 times let's say well again depending on how dirty is your tape so oh and one thing i i didn't say that before but be careful right this vcr is is plugged right now so i i know some of you may may be scared of like getting like elect electrocuted or something and this is a potential danger of course i think if i touch this part well i just did uh, some parts you will get like a light shock you, you won't die but i mean i i tell you be careful all right don't don't put your hands everywhere around uh, some parts are fine. Just do like I did and you should be okay. You will be okay. Let's say you'll be okay. But I just need to let you know. All right, so let's go. Let's rewind this tape to clean it even more for like our final cleanup. So again, I put some rubbing alcohol on my cloth. My cut and wipe. So I need to press it up here. And then rewind. Here we go. So I take the clean part. We use this side. I'm going to use this side. And then you put it here. Okay. And then you want to put your cloth with some rubbing alcohol right here. So it, like I said, it can touch the surface on, of your of your the reading surface of your tape it doesn't matter but it needs to rest also a little bit on the top because you want to clean that again so once again i'll let this rewind and i'll come back right after okay so we are back the tape is nearly rewinded it's maybe just a couple of seconds you want to keep an eye on this once again because you want to remove your cut and wipe and you want to remove your rag before it you know it, it auto ejects because well some videos just stop but mine will kind of eject the tape so I don't want this to see whoop there you go see I was a bit too fast this is actually bad if it does that but thankfully it just went all in so see my cut and bud is kind of uh, I'm sorry cut and wipe it's kind of clean because that means one good thing is that the reading surface of your tape is clean so all the mold that the mold that you've seen was all inside this spool perhaps also inside this spool and maybe on the top of the tape and we got rid of that see even my my cloth is is still clean so it didn't really remove anything so all that mold was in the spool and i'm guessing that most of the tapes you will have to clean hopefully will be like this one so now let's eject the tape. And what I will do now is pretty much the same as step number three. So we will open up the tape once again and clean it inside one last time. So I will show you how to do this. Uh, again, it's very similar to step three, but this is the final step. So I hope you're still there, guys. I know this video is a bit, it's a bit long, but I want to get over like every little detail so that you know exactly how to clean the tape now and that you don't need to panic anymore. Like, oh my God, your tape has mold and it's, it's the end of the world. I have to throw it away. It cost me a hundred bucks. 
whatever. You can keep your collectibles, you can clean them. Of course, the key after you clean your tapes is to find a nice storage space that doesn't have, uh, it's not humid, it, it's, it, it goes by itself, you know, it, you need like a dry place. So storage is actually way more important afterward. So you may ask me, oh, will the mold come back? Again, it, it may come back if the storage isn't good. Um, in my case, I had some tapes that, you know, grew mold after, like a tiny bit of mold, but I cleaned them, like they were like really dirty and I, I, I managed to save them. I cleaned them afterward, like another time, and I, I found like a, a dry space in my, in my apartment and now they're fine, they're good. So it, it may happen, but it's, it's kind of rare. And it takes a lot of time, like, I, like by that I mean like years. So if you cleaned all your tape and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to do that every week. Of course, it, it may take like years. So you can clean them again and it won't be that as bad. So just keep an eye on them, check, uh, but it should, it should do the trick. So this one, so let's finish this up guys. Okay, so I just open it up again because you have one screw here. I remove it, put it aside. Once again, you want the tape this side because you don't want to lose any pieces. Open it up. See, I cleaned everything. Put the two spools away. I take, again, a bit more rubbing alcohol. And then I want to clean again those little guides, the little metal pieces inside. That is very important, by the way. Do it twice better than, than only once. Because when you rewind the tape, sometimes it's like just a bit of dust or a bit of mold spores so it can stick on this. So you just want to clean it up very nicely. The inside of the tape, again, depending on how terrible your tape was, you can clean it again. But generally speaking, it's just like mold spores, so you can just blow it away but you can wipe it but blowing it away will be maybe better because it won't really stick like this I don't really need to <coughs> oh that's fine now put back your pieces little metal pieces like this I already put this one back and now the final thing is the last spool the, this one so of course, look at your tape to see if there's any residue. It seems fine, although I'll wipe it off just in case. Again, with ethanol, you want to rub this part here like this. Put your tape down. Okay. A bit more ethanol rubbing alcohol and then you clean this part just like I showed you when we fast forwarded the tape. So you want to clean it inside, make sure there's no more mold or traces of mold anywhere. Or at least if there's like a tiny bit that you forgot, like a tiny piece of dust or whatever, if this grows back it will take years, okay? Because trust me, if you have like just a little tiny piece, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you, you can clean it off like again, like I did a fast forward rewind only once of this tape, but I can do it like 10 times. I mean, you can do it as many times as you want. Uh, for this tape, it seems like once is enough, but I mean, it was really dirty inside. I would do it like a second time just to make sure. Usually I do it twice minimum and that's a minimum because Korean tapes are, t are really nasty. So put it, put it back. Now you can put it back. Again, remember these two things. Make sure that your tape goes, your spool goes down. This one is already down, that's fine. Now put this back. Make sure there's enough tension, okay? And you can close the lid like this, okay? Uh, you can open it up so it doesn't, you know, uh, crush the tape here when you push it back in case it's not tight enough inside so make sure it's that's why I make sure it's tight enough otherwise just keep the lid open and then close it like this now put back the screws 
and we are done ladies and gentlemen we are done so you can feel safe now with your collection that we, you can save your collection i mean if you have like expensive tapes like that it's it's worth the time i mean we we spend like what 20 i hope it's not more than 30 minutes on this video i'm sorry i took so much of your time and if you watch everything through it's it's great i mean i'm i'm, I'm really happy about this but you can save your tapes and i really hope you can save some of your like precious tapes like i did i mean korean tapes right here I'm, I'm i'm pretty well pretty much one of the only people collecting tapes in korea like most foreigners like me don't care they just go drink in the bar <laughs> or whatever and who can blame them right uh, but i'm the only geek around checking for tapes i guess and i do want to save as many as possible because i'm selling some and uh, for me it's important that I'm, I'm really happy i found this technique to clean them and it works and when i play them they are actually very good very clean i mean there can be some little problems but then that means you just have to clean it more and again make sure that your vcr that even if, if it's the crappy vcr you're using to clean those tapes make sure you clean that vcr after a couple cleanups after a couple tapes that you clean like maybe I would say, again, I don't know, five tapes, clean the head, clean, clean your VCR head and clean the little guides inside and you should be good. You should be good. So here we go. I'll just clean this part here. So here, there you go. See, it's really clean inside. It's gorgeous tape. So. And if I look inside, see, I remember you press the little lid and there you go. See, it's clean. Oh, uh, one last thing. Okay, I you can just do like this be careful not to <laughs> with your nail because sometimes it blocks and you can hurt yourself but you can wind it a bit just to give it more tension because sometimes when you clean tapes like this and you do it more than once like the rewind fast forward you lose some of your te the tension inside the tape so just wind it up a little bit manually like this and until until you you, you feel there's a bit of resistance resistance so then stop and it's good see now this tape is clean so everyone thank you for watching and i hope you will now clean your tapes and you'll feel safer cleaning them <laughs> and less scared of opening up the, the the cassette and going through like the vcr and everything because this is very simple guys and remember you only need three four five six items you need a vcr you need rubbing alcohol you need screwdrivers one two remember this one is to keep the lid open you need one to open up your tape a rag and of course little pieces of uh, cotton wipes makeup remover whatever so that's one two three four five things six with the vcr which cannot go in this shot i'm sorry so six items that's all you need to clean your moldy tapes so thank you once again and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet because that makes me very happy and it makes the channel grow and if you like the video put a like and see you next week thank you guys